Hi guys, just before we uh, jump in to this week's midweek vlog, you might be wondering why we've suddenly got one that's popping up in the middle of the week. Well, if you looked at the comments of vlog 72 that I did on Saturday, uh, which was 46 minutes long, one or two people have commented on the length of the actual vlogs that I produce. And I have been aware for some time um, that they do run into the 40, 45 minutes bracket. Now, I make no apology for that because what I set out to do with this channel was to document in one vlog my week on board of Freedom with Misty. Uh, be it long week, short week or whatever. Some weeks I'm busy, some weeks I'm not. But I try to get everything I've done in that week out in that one vlog. I don't save it up for something else. But just to show that I do listen and I do read the comments and I do react... What I'm going to do this month for December, rest of December, I'm going to experiment and split the vlogs into maybe two on the weeks where it needs to be. Hence this one now that you're about to watch. Please, please do have a look in, um, in the times of the other vlogs and against this one. Let me know if you think this is an improvement and something you'd sooner see in the future. And... Uh, my main vlog will always come out on Friday night, Saturday morning, because it comes out at quarter past midnight. Side of the week hasn't gone. It'll stay in the main vlog. And this will just be a, a midweek catch up if there's too much to put into that one uh, weekly vlog. So uh, without any further ado, jump in, have a look. If you like the vlog, give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please tick the notification. And let's see where we take it from here. Cool. Enjoy the vlog. Good evening and welcome to Friday, December the 3rd. Uh, not long been home, just unloaded a few bags of wood out the back of my van. Fed her ladyship, she's now destroying the sofa with all the cushions that are going on the floor while she makes herself a nest. I've put a tray of um, chicken wings in the oven, that's something I really like every now and again just to have a nibble on. And uh, while they're happily roasting away, I just want to show you something that's come from the Smiley Face Company. As in the Smiley Face Company. Other companies are available. And this is part of my ongoing, just got my scissors, ongoing technical advancements on board Freedom, which has been made possible, and I keep repeating it, by the fact that I've changed my router and I've put the point in omnidirectional antenna on the roof and I have got lightning fast um, Wi-Fi in fact last night somebody uh, put on the marina um, Facebook page uh, is everybody else having issues with their marina Wi-Fi and he put a speed test up where he was getting I think it was something like 4.9 bytes per second download and something like 4.4 upload and i ran a test straight as soon as i saw that off my wireless wi-fi and i think at the time i was getting something like 54 uh download and about 24 25 upload so mega fast and uh if you watch this last week's vlog you'll see that i've now added the um the streaming device to my TV and turn it from a 16 year old telly to something quite smart. So I've decided I'm going to spin you down in a minute, but I'm going to open this quick to show you. And when I've had my tea, we're going to give it a whirl and see how good it is. But this is all part and parcel of the improvements I'm making, which is only possible because I've got the uh, super fast wi uh, Wi Fi. Let me just spin you down. I'm always... Oops, I've lost you to angle now. Look. Let me spin you right down here so you can see what I can see. And I just thought, now I've got access to all these films. And it is an old telly. I'm going to add... Can you see that? Again, there's lots of different makes out there. This is not a mega expensive um, soundbar with a, it's got a subwoofer built into it, Bluetooth compact piece of kit. 
and it's come with a three year guarantee on it. It's cost me less than 40 pounds. And it says built in subwoofer, better bass response for more immersive audio experience. Well, that could be great for playing all my 70s tracks off of Spotify. Um, it's got USB and auxiliary playback on it, remote control, Bluetooth, etc, etc. And I just thought that's plenty big enough for what I'm going to need on my boat. I don't need a great big four foot long soundbar. You know, I'm not looking for um, the most fantastic uh, cinemified sound system and all that rubbish. And uh, what I want to try and do, I'll unbox it in front of you after I've had my tea, because I'm just waiting to have my cup of tea first. And what I'm going to try and do is, because there's lots of rules and regs on YouTube about music that you can play, I'm going to put, not last week's, but the weeks before, vlog on the telly, which I can now do thanks to the, um, uh, the new streaming device I've got. And uh, the introduction music is from the YouTube studio, which I'm allowed to use. So what I'm going to try and do is set the camera up. It's not a perfect example, but I'm going to play the introduction without this attached to the TV. And then I'm going to play over again with this attached. And then we'll see if the phone, which I'm now filming on, is clever enough to pick up the difference. And as you can tell the difference when you get it in the vlog, if all that makes sense. So I'm going to now go and get myself a cup of tea. I'm going to have my chicken wings and uh, a bit later on tonight I'll get this out of the box and we'll see uh, just what you get for your under £40 and uh, we'll see how good it is. Right, I've had my cup of tea and uh, my chicken wings aren't yet ready. So this is a, it says on it, Majority Bowfell Compact Bluetooth Sound Bar. So... Uh, now, I'm not promoting this particular make. I've just chose it off of uh, the Smiley Face Company because the price seemed right. Seems like it's got a decent enough guarantee on it. And it's small enough. I didn't want, as I said earlier, I didn't want something that was huge. Warranty card comes in the box. We've got the remote again with the batteries and it's the RCA cord or whatever they call it. It's with it, which is good. I think there's several ways you can do it through Bluetooth. I think you can do it through um, HDMI. I think you can do an optical connection on it. There's lots of different ways. The uh, power source is obviously through this little box that we're going to mains. And uh, nice bit of weight in it. So it means it's obviously got something inside. It makes it all do what it has to do. And uh, it just appealed to me because it's not big. You know, I didn't want something that was ostentatious. That's a big word for me at this time of night. I wanted something that would just be... Give that music when I play it, the 70s music in the background, a bit more clarity and a bit more life, if that makes sense. If that makes sense. So, yeah, that's a nice, nice size. That's, that's good for me, that. And it'll just fit. It'll possibly, I might just put it in front of the telly. I may have to remove, uh, replace the um, streaming unit on top of this then. And uh, that's no major issue. On the back, I don't know if you can just see, it's got a um, little port there. I'll point with the knife so you can see it. That's for the power to go in. Your USB and you've got um, optical in there. And then I think it's on the is it on the end? Uh, that just says volume line, power mode, etc. And now I've got to do is figure out where the RCDs connect. Right, let me get me instruction manual out, and I will hopefully get this attached to the TV. Bear with me. Right, there's the sound bar snug in front of the TV. Now, I have put the Roku um, streaming device on top so that then there's no interference. And I have had to remove my uh, model, Tim model racing car off of there because it was interfering with the 
um, remote control sending the volume up and down what I wanted to do it wasn't reacting um, I can't well, I've tried to do the um, the video of the sound with and without and to be honest with you the phone just doesn't do it justice so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna put that on but um, what can I tell you about it let me just spin you around and I'll talk to you right well I've just got back from walking Misty hence I'm still in my scruffs and uh, and had my shower yet but I just thought I'd quickly update you as I say I can't I've tried putting the video on with music and it just doesn't really on the phone it, because I haven't got a, an extra mic from a phone it it doesn't really show its true um, its true colours so this majority Balfell is what I've bought um, actual price was £35 um, would I have it in a house no, no, I don't think I would. Uh, is it ideal for what I want on the boat? 100%, absolutely. Um, I haven't learned how to use it properly yet, but I've tried, I've been on to Netflix, I've tried um, a couple of films, just the intros onto films. I've played some of my 70s music on there. Um, and when you're playing such as Elton John, you know, where there's piano, you can hear the actual individual notes more so through the telly than you would have through the telly speaker um clearer you have three options you can have it on a, a flat sound a jazz or a pop to be honest with you in my head i can't really tell a great deal so i've set it at flat and left it at that um yes it will blow the windows out if you turn the volume up and i didn't think that would be very you know um, much appreciated by my neighbors this time of night but on sunday in the daytime while I'm doing the cleaning and that, I'm going to put some 70s music and I'm going to jack it up and see if at a higher level there's any distortion. But for now, yes, for, for £35 delivered, it does exactly what I wanted it to do. It gives me a much, much better sound. Yeah, go spend £200, £150 and it'll be even more amazing. But that isn't what I was looking for. I just wanted something that was better than the built-in speaker on the telly. Bearing in mind, she's a 16-year-old telly. And uh, I've now got what I need. I've got on board, I've got super fast Wi-Fi, considering it's wireless. I've got my Roku um, streaming device, which I've now mounted, as I showed you, on top of the um, soundbar. I keep losing my words tonight, soundbar. And uh, I've got the soundbar. Put the three together, it gives me a far better um, selection of entertainment on board Freedom than I had before I sorted the Wi-Fi out because I was limited to what few channels my old telly could pick up using the aerial on the roof. But now with the Wi-Fi and streaming, well, the world's your oyster, isn't it? You know, there's just so much. So uh, that's as much as I'm going to tell you about it. But I would, if I was going to score it, I think I'd rate it eight i'd rate it eight um it never was going to be all singing all dancing because well what you're going to get for 35 quid but in relation to the speaker on the telly it's 150 mega times better a lot 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 better and uh, that is what i was aiming to achieve so uh, if you're on a boat and you like me you, you haven't got a great amount of space to put that sound around and you want something that's better than your TV speaker, then yeah, this Balfour unit does the job. And there's loads on the Smiley Face channel um, to choose from. You pay your money and you take your choice. And I'm happy with my choice. So it's as simple as that. Time for a cup of tea. Good morning. It's, uh, what day is it? It's Sunday, Sunday the 5th of December. So it's been a couple of days since I originally unboxed the Bowful. It's by a company called Majority and it's the Bowful sound, uh, sound bar. And I just wanted just to, to give an overall opinion now and I've had it for a few days and uh, it's absolutely blown my mind how I've suddenly transformed um, life on board Freedom just by simply first and foremost getting the wi-fi so now i've got proper wi-fi which means i can use the the streaming system on my tv 
um, with the Roku unit that I've, um, I've bought and I showed you in the last vlog. And uh, adding this to the TV, bearing in mind mine's a 16 year old telly, this has really improved things because now I'm playing my music library off of um, is it Spotify, um, all new to me. And uh, I was sat here the other night and I suddenly then realised that because the um, sound bar is um, Bluetooth, I connected it to my phone, which is now permanently it connects all the time I'm in the, in the boat with the phone. I can put uh, Spotify on my phone, click on my favourite playlist and out it pops on the um, sound bar. So what do I actually think of this now I've had it for two or three days? Um, I think I originally said I was going to give this a, like an 8 out of 10 is a score. But that was only on the first night of having it. And I've got to review that. I really have. I'm just going to, I think you're a bit cockeyed there. Look, that's it. That's better. Yeah, I think I've got to review that decision. I think, to be honest with you, for me, this is a 9.5. I don't know whether 10s are much better, but this is a 9.5 to me. It's 50 watts of power. Now, if I play my um library that i'm putting together uh, my music library that i'm putting together through spotify if i put it on the on the tv so i put spotify on the telly and use the line connection from the tv to this i can use both the uh, remote for the uh, bowel and um bowel sorry uh, i can use the remote for that to turn the volume up to a certain limit and then I can use a TV remote to take the volume to the point where I think my neighbours will be coming knocking on the roof. It is powerful. It is clear. It is absolutely a fantastic piece of kit and I think as I said before I'll have to check it but I think it's about £35 delivered uh, bought through Amazon. I haven't bought it to, um, because um, majority are doing a, um, a payback for me giving this a review. I'm just doing it because for me, I just think this is fantastic. So if you've got an ordinary everyday telly like me and you want it to be somewhat bit more special, invest in one. The uh, the Bluetooth uh, connectivity is fantastic. Um, you've got the only the only issue I've got with this with this product, if I'm really, really honest, is this. The remote. It's simple to use. I'll give it 10 out of 10 for simplicity because even I can work it. But you, it's it's got no weight in it. It's it's very flimsy. Um, that said, it works perfectly, but it just doesn't seem to have a lot of about it. Um, that's my only concern. But having said that, there's a three year guarantee on the on the whole setup. So I suppose if this gave up the ghost, they would under warranty send you another one. And as I say, it's very, very simple. You've got your volumes up and down. You've got a mode button. Now that is for the actual um, soundbar connectivity modes because you've got optical connection, you've got uh, RCA connection, you've got, um, what else you've got? You've got I've, I've actually plugged into the earphone connection on the back of the telly into this soundbar at the moment. And then obviously you've got Bluetooth. And... Uh, you flip through the modes, there's a colour indicator lamp on the front of the sound bar and uh, when you go into Bluetooth it flashes blue for a couple of seconds and a voice will suddenly tell you it's connected and away you go. Now, the only thing I do find, and it could be my earring because I'm getting on a bit, I don't know whether I can actually see, if you can see this, you've got three types of settings there which is flat, I believe, I've got to put my glasses on, even I can't see them. It's, uh, yeah, flat, rock and jazz. And I'm supposed that if you really know what you're doing, you can tell the difference. Well, I can, but I must confess that flat, whatever that is, to me sounds better. Um, I played uh, last night, I was listening here on Freedom to uh, Tubular Bells by Mike Oldfield. Uh, one of my favourite um, long listening tracks fantastic absolutely fantastic on the flat mode um 
I did try it on the other two, but I couldn't tell any difference, to be honest. <laughs> well, I say I can't tell any difference. It wasn't any better improved. If anything, it slightly unimproved it for me. It was a little bit less... Um, you could hear every piano key, you know, the actual intricacy of each guitar string being plucked on the flat mode. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. So, to sum it up, if you've got, like me, an old telly, if you've changed your, your Wi-Fi, like I have done with the uh, Howie B535 router and the um, pointing omnidirectional antenna, you will have hopefully have some lightning fast Wi-Fi, wireless Wi-Fi on your boat. Get Do have a look at the Roku type um, streaming device. There's loads of different ones out there. I'm only telling you to look at the Roku because that's what I've got and I know it works and it's it's not expensive. And I was thinking about it this morning. I've got the Wi-Fi sorted. I've got streaming. I've got a lovely sound bar, plenty big enough what I want on, on board Freedom. And all together, it's cost me £140 for the lot. And I reckon that's a bargain. So... Uh, if you're watching this and you're thinking, oh, you know, it's all technical and it's difficult and all the rest of it, and you've got a telly, as long as it's got HDMI port on it, it doesn't have to have a USB point on it because you can get the adapter that you plug into your 3-pin plug. If you've got any questions, either ask them in the comments below or email me on our email address or contact me through our Facebook group page and I'll do my best to talk you through it. D unlike me, don't be frightened of technology. You know, it opens up a whole new world of films you don't have to pay for unless you're on, uh, you can go onto Netflix and subscribe to that. But even the basic package for that is only six pounds uh, per month. So for one pound fifty a week, you can binge watch as many films as you want uh, through Netflix. Uh, but there's a lot of um, channels come via having the uh, Roku stick and uh, which are free films so it's fantastic lots and lots of entertainment on these long winter nights so I just wanted to let you know that now my opinion of this is it's flipping brilliant if you buy one I'm promising you you'll not be disappointed catch up with you next week